Hello and welcome to Thunder Insider as we recap an exciting All-Star break. I'm Katie Parker. We'll take a look back at the All-Star game, which yet again crowned a Thunder player as MVP. We'll go inside the cage once again with Michael Cage, and we will meet your Thunder's development team, the Oklahoma City Blue. But first, there are new faces on your Thunder's roster. In the final minutes approaching the trade deadline, the Thunder made some moves that brought new additions to OKC. Let's get to know the newest members of the Thunder family. Welcome back to Oklahoma Vision. If you are just joining us, you are coming into a very special on the road edition through Chickasaw Country. We are taking you all over the state of Oklahoma. We're gonna introduce you to some really cool people, some different destinations, events that you might wanna know about as well. What's up everybody? I am Katie Kurtz with Dead Center Film Festival. Welcome to opening night. Tell us a little bit about the movie that's premiering here at Dead Center Film Festival. It's just like Prometheus. It's just like But yeah. it's a different wardrobe. Now as you can see, it's gonna be a great party. What is up Thunder fans? Hilson here to tell us a little bit more about what is going on. Roller derby and stakes. I like it. The producer, writer, and first time director of Bringing Up Bobby. We also have an Oklahoma's own national anthem performer tonight. The Thunder's D-League affiliate had an impressive season with a winning record, 10 Thunder player assignments, and two NBA call-ups. But it didn't end there. The Thunder work every day to improve their skills on the court, but recently Jeremy Lamb and Perry Jones stopped by the Devon Boathouse to try out a new sport. The big question is whether or not Thunder big man Serge Ibaka plays tonight. Keep tagging those photos with hashtag Thunder Salute because this is a live stream of that hashtag conversation. We'll swim with the fish, we'll introduce you to the endangered green sea turtle, and we'll kiss a stingray. Welcome to the Caymans. It smells like a Christmas tree. Yes, it does. It's okay, girl. I'm gonna be alright tonight. I love that song. Do you think my Vanna White skills? Yes. You're very good at that. I said that to somebody the other day, and they were like, who's Vanna White? Wow, that's... Yep. I have some really cool fashion going on. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Shoes. The All-Star break is one of the biggest weeks in the NBA, and Fashion Week is one of the biggest weeks in New York City. So when they come together, you have to take full advantage of that, right? Good. The red lipstick equates fashion. Okay. You good. should try it. Can I get some high fives over yeah. here? American Idol! Yeah! yeah. High fives, high fives! Oh. Let's go, let's go! Come on, I'm in the way. All right, so I'm gonna start again. Don't read a teleprompter, people. The one and only Rumble the Bison, right outside section 102, immediately following tonight's game. We are now here with your halftime performer, Corey the Dribbler Rich, four-time Guinness World Record holder, and one of the best basketball handlers in the world. We are in the Jim Thorpe Association Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame Gallery. NBA All-Star Week always marks the unofficial midway point of the season. It's something both the fans and the players look forward to as the competitive atmosphere lightens for just a moment. First up, mother and daughter hanging out at the last Thunder game with face paint. Thanks for watching. I'm quite... I messed up on my name. <laughs> They have tons of brochures, so we're going to check that out and figure out where exactly we're going. I'm Katie Parker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Thunder Insider.